all doing great today welcome back to my channel um, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to cut a simple straight dress with um, cape and on the neck so it's like an off shoulder with cape stay tuned and I'll show you how to cut it thanks guys okay guys this is the style that I'm sewing I say it's like a straight dress with a cape around the neck that's what I'm going to be making I'll show you the fabrics and what we'll be needing for the sewing so we'll be needing our lovely African print fabric I'll show you guys this fabric before it's in one of my video so this is the cutting of one of the dress so we needed this fabric is six yard of um, Ankara African print and I will be needing our poly cutting in black for lining our measurements here measurements of the client a chalk a scissors our rulers That's what we'll be needing, and of course, the catalog for the style. That's what we are needing for this tutorial. Stay tuned, and I'll show you how to cut it. Okay, um, we are going to start now. I forgot to mention that we also need elastic for the cape because the cape has elastic. So we need elastic. We need elastic for the cape as well. When we are when i'm sewing the cape i'm going to be putting elastic at the shoulder point there okay the first thing we need to do is to take the length of the dress the length of the dress is 46 so we take 46 measure 46 down I'm going to put a one inches guideline here. So, 46. 46 plus one and a half inches sewing allowance. So that's 47 and a half. So I'll mark 47 and a half here. And this is exactly 47 and a half already from the one inches guideline I'm just going to draw a straight line from the one inches guideline I'm going to just draw a straight line okay the dress is going to be having a zip at the back as well it's going to be having a zip so I'm just going to move the top fabric, which is the front one, and leave two inches allowance at the back one for zip. Okay, so now we are going to be taking the shoulder measurement. The shoulder divided by two. Now you mark it down. Plus half an inch for sewing. So that is eight and a half. So from this eight and a half, you are going to match, um, measure the ham, um, shoulder to arm hole length. Shoulder to arm hole length is eight. So from that point, you draw a straight line. And 
don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to use a white shock. So from this point, you just draw a straight line from the 8 inches. Just draw a straight line across. Because it's a straight dress, it has no joining, but it's going to be having that. So there's no there's no joining. So I'm just going to be putting that. Okay, so from this point, I'm going to be measuring a shoulder to hip a shoulder to hip is 20 you need your measurements so you know what you are doing shoulder to hip To bust point, mark it down. Shoulder to waist, mark it down. Okay. So now we are going to put all the measurement down. So a bust divided by four is eleven point seventy five. It's practically almost twelve. So you mark it down. Plus two inches sewing allowance. So a waist measurement divided by four. And then you mark it down. Plus two inches sewing allowance. I'm going to add three inches sewing allowance because I'm going to put that. And then you mark it down. <laughs> My chalk is having a bit of a problem. So a hip measurement divided by four. Then you mark it down. Plus three inches sewing allowance. Then you mark it down. So now we are going to connect them, all the points. We're going to connect all the points. I'm going to be using the hip curve ruler to connect the hip one. So from the waist to the hip. I hope you can see my marking. Okay, so from this hip point, I'm going to just use the hip curve ruler and mark it all the way straight down. At the bottom here, I'll, I'll go in by one and a half inches. Just because we are narrower towards our legs, so I'm not going to use the same hip measurement. I hope you can see what I have drawn. Okay. So now, you know our, our shoulder is slanted, 
So I'm going to be marking down one inches from the shoulder. The arm, arm whole length. I come down by one inches. One inches. And then the neck. I don't really need a neck measurement because it's um, off shoulder. But I'm just going to just um, do four inches wideness. And I'm just going to come down by three inches. So I just connect the lines. Okay, so now we are going to measure what is remaining of the ham hole length, which is the shoulder to your ham, where the ham hole start, the length of it. So this is seven. Seven divided by two, that's three and a half. So you just mark three and a half there. So from this point, because it's off shoulder, remember it's off shoulder, from this three and a half, you just draw a straight line to the chest. You just draw a straight line to the chest. But instead of marking three and a half, mark three inches because you need half an inches to sew it. If the person wants the off shoulder to be really low, then you need to come down a bit more. So I'm just going to be marking three inches. The back and the front is the same thing. Back and the front is the same thing. So from there, you just draw the curve. You draw the curve for the hand hole. It has to have a hole here because she's going to wear it. Okay guys, so all I did, I'll cut it out and show you what I did. Understand it properly. Let me just cut it out. Oh, I should just show you before I cut it out, rather. Okay, so this is the shoulder slant. This line here, this line here is the guidelines, one inches guideline, which I normally draw. So from here to here is the shoulder, half of the shoulder from this point. This here is the back. This is the zip allowance for the back. So here is where my finger is is a zip allowance for the back because it's going to have a zip. The cape is going to have elastic. So from here to here is the shoulder length. Then we have to come down by one inches because our shoulder is not straight. So by the time you take the one inches off, from here to here is seven. To find the middle of seven, you divide seven by two and it gives you three and a half. I have marked three because I need half an inch to sew it. So from that point, you just draw a straight line here to the chest, which is the front. This is the front. So you just draw a straight line here. But if the person wants it to be more lower, you have to come a bit lower. If they want it to be lower, you can come down the drop neck to by five or six or seven. If they want the off shoulder to be more lower so from that point you take your curve ruler and you draw your ham hole because you need a ham hole so you draw your ham hole from that point where you are going to which is a half of the um, length of the ham hole the length so that's from your shoulder to your armpit so you draw a, a, your ham hole there's no sleeve, but you're going to be putting the cape. So the cape is very much like the sleeve. 
So that's all I do. So I'm just going to cut it off. I'll cut here off. And this will be the full dress. And I'm also going to cut it. I'm also going to be cutting it all the way down. I'm going to be cutting it all the way down to the bottom. So I'll cut it and then you see it. I'll show it to you. so you can see I have to put it properly so I can cut it out correctly I'll show you the front. So this is how it looks like. And the back, I'm going to cut the back open. So that's it guys, so what I will do is I'll cut the cape, the cape is gather, it's just a straight, it's just a straight piece, just a straight piece like that, a straight piece you take, you can use the bust measurement of the person times two, so you can get enough gathers, so if you use the bust measurement times two, if you have enough fabric, if you don't have enough fabric, Mm, maybe you should just measure a bit more so I get a bit more um, you measure the bust and they had maybe like 15 inches or 20 inches depends on where your fabric reach then you put once you sew it you sew it with elastic and you gather it and then you sew it to the top here I'm going to take this and cut the lining because he has a lining which I'm going to use to turn it and also I'm going to use to turn the hamper as well so it's closed because there's no um, there's no sleeve on it so I'll just cut the cape it's a straight piece as I say you just cut a straight piece and then you put elastic and you sew it to the top here and that's all guys thank you very much for watching if you like this video please like um, give it a thumb up share and subscribe if you have not subscribed already thanks for watching bye i'll see you in my next video and i'll show you the next i'll show you the finished outfit see you in my next video guys thanks a lot bye